Hello everybody. My name is Brittany and my nature name is Timberdoodle. I work for Jefferson County Conservation and on a normal year you would get to come out on a field trip to Jefferson County Park or one of our different areas to explore the great outdoors with me. This year is a little bit different so we've prepared a virtual field trip for you. Today we are going to be studying life cycles. I have some examples and activities I want to go through with you and then we're going to go on a virtual hike. All right, are you excited? Life cycles are a really important part of nature. In fact, every plant or animal is part of its own life cycle. Now let's start with plants because they're a little bit more simple. So there's a little seed and it goes into the ground. And if it gets the right amount of water or moisture, and uh, the temperature is right, it will start growing. So you can see how this progresses through time. So the seed starts to sprout and it's slowly popping up through the ground. At the next stage, it just keeps growing a little bit more until finally you have a full fledged plant that's growing. So the life cycle of a plant is a little bit more simple. After it gets to um, the final stage here, it will actually begin uh, to produce its own seeds again, and those seeds will fall to the ground and the life cycle will continue again. So the life cycle of a plant is interesting, but it's a little bit more simple than some of the life cycles of animals. Now, okay, take us humans, for example. In my belly, I have a baby. And this baby, hopefully, when it gets here, is gonna look like a miniature version of a human, right? So humans, when we are born, we look like the adult. Just a, just a smaller version of that. Now that's not always true with all animals. Some of them go through different stages and they look very different from the other ones. Let's look at ladybugs, for example. Ladybug life cycle is crazy. So it starts out with little, uh, little eggs right here on a leaf. And all these eggs um, out will hatch. Now this is a bigger version than what it actually is. Out will hatch a bunch of these guys and uh, it's kind of like a teenager. So you could say this is a ladybug teenager. This uh, hatches out of the eggs. Then from that ladybug teenager, it uh, goes into its like cocoon or chrysalis. So it goes in looking like this. It goes into this chrysalis phase and then out pops what we know of as the ladybug or the lady beetle. So the adult lady beetle, lady beetle starts out as an egg, goes into that teenager form, goes in and takes a nice long nap in its cocoon or chrysalis, and out comes that lady beetle. All the stages of the lady beetle or ladybug look totally different than the one before, right? That's different than the humans when we're just a smaller version of ourselves. So ladybugs, lady beetles, that's a great example. Now, if you have your worksheet, I want you to take that out. And on your worksheet, you're gonna see at the top by number one, there's a bunch of pictures of the life cycle of a frog. And as we're going through the life cycle of a frog, I want you to make arrows and connect which stage or phase goes from one phase to the next, okay? So here's where we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the egg. Frogs lay eggs. An adult frog, a uh, girl frog, lays the eggs. And these would kind of feel like jelly. And they would be laid into the water. After the eggs are ready to hatch, out would come a tadpole. So these little tadpoles will be swimming around in the water, in a wetland or pond or creek even, and they will be getting bigger and bigger. And as the tadpole goes through its life cycle, it starts to grow back legs. 
the back legs start forming. Other than that, it still looks like a tadpole. And at this point, it is still breathing its oxygen through the water. So it's acting a little bit more like a fish, you could say. It's breathing its oxygen through the water, but it does have some back legs. As the life cycle continues, you see that the back legs are still there, but now it's formed front legs. And the front legs and back legs make it look like a frog at the top, but it still has that tadpole tail. Now it'll keep growing and getting a little bit bigger. And as it does, that tail on the back will get smaller and smaller and smaller until finally it just looks like a frog. The tail is gone. And now at this point, it's no longer breathing its oxygen through the water. Now it's like us. It's breathing its oxygen through the air. So it doesn't need to be underwater to breathe. It does need the water to kind of keep its skin nice and wet, but it doesn't need the water to breathe. It can breathe oxygen just like we can. Now, if this was a girl, then the girl could lay eggs and the life cycle could continue again. So if you see on here, here's just another example. And this is kind of what your worksheet will look like where you have the eggs and then you're gonna draw an arrow from the eggs to the tadpole that just has the kind of the body and the tail. Then from that one, you're going to find the tadpole that has started to grow the back legs and you're gonna draw an arrow to that. And then you're gonna draw an arrow to the tadpole that has back legs and front legs. Then you're gonna draw an arrow to the tadpole who's starting to look a little bit more like a frog. It has the front legs and the back legs and the tail is getting shorter. It's looking more frog-like. And then finally, you're gonna draw that arrow to the adult frog. And then the adult frog, you can draw that arrow again to the eggs. And you'll notice that it's a big circle and it just keeps repeating itself. This is the life cycle of a frog. Now, our next activity that we're going to do today is we are going to go out on a hike and I've put some stuff out for you to find. Now, everything that I've put out is a part of a life cycle and we're gonna see if you can figure out what part of a life cycle it is. So we might be out on a hike and you'll see a white flag in the ground. And when you do that, I want you to put your hands on your head. And that shows me that you see the white marker flag. We'll get closer to the flag and there we're going to investigate what's right under the flag. You might see something like this, hickory nuts. So hickory nuts are part of a life cycle because they are the seed to a hickory tree. And then at that stop, we'll kind of talk about uh, whatever example is there and you'll get to learn a little bit more about life cycles. Okay, are you ready? Do you see the white flag? If you do, put your hands on your head. All right, did you see this white flag right here? If you did, you should have your hands on your head like this. Okay, you can take them, now, so take them down now since we found this flag. So if you look at the base of this flag, I have something hidden for you to find. And what I have here is really interesting. These are dragonfly nymphs or dragonfly teenagers. And this is evidence of a life cycle. Here, let me show you why. If you look at this chart right here, you can see the life cycle of a dragonfly. The dragonfly starts out like this. This is what we know of. Uh, this is what we kind of think of when we uh, see a dragonfly is this example right here. So this is the adult dragonfly and the adult dragonfly will lay its eggs down here into the water. Now these eggs have to be in the water and when they come out of their egg, they look like this, the dragonfly teenagers. Now that's kind of an example of what we just saw. 
these dragonfly teenagers swim around in the water in the spring and they get bigger and bigger and bigger until finally they are all grown up and they'll climb up a stick like right like this right here and they'll shed their exoskeleton so that's different than what we have we have our skeleton our bones inside our body but but a dragonfly doesn't. It has its skeleton on the outside and it's kind of like a hard shell, like a crab or a lobster. So it breaks through this hard shell, this hard exoskeleton, and out comes the dragonfly like we kind of normally think of a dragonfly. So the example that I showed you right here, these are examples of the exoskeletons of a dragonfly. Again, it's like a ladybug. Not all the phases or stages, the animal looks the exact same. It starts changing throughout its life cycle. So on your worksheet, that was letter A. I want you to find on your worksheet where the dragonfly is. And I want you to mark the letter A because this is station A. The next flag we look for is station B. And we're going to see when we find this flag, you'll put your hands on your head. I'll show you what's there. And then you're going to make a guess as to which picture it goes with. Okay, here we go. Do you have your hands on your head? Very good, let's check out the next clue. Okay, we're at clue B. So, here is what's at the base of the flag. Kind of take the lid off here, and you can see it is a bunch of little pieces Hmm, they're kind of, kind of feel like maybe like a ping pong ball. So this is part of a life cycle. Does anybody know what animal this would be a life cycle for? Hmm, look at your worksheet. Go through all these pictures and see if you can make any guess as to which animal might have this as part of its life cycle. Hmm, what do you think? If you said turtle, you are correct. So what we see here is actually some snapping turtle eggs. Now this is really common for lots of turtles, but especially snapping turtles. Snapping turtles lay their eggs uh, in a hole in the ground. And a lot of times different animals like raccoons or possums, they can smell the scent from the eggs and they are able to come and find that nest and, and we say they raid it. So they actually eat all those eggs. So it's really hard, believe it or not, for a snapping turtle to have its eggs survive. So this is an example of some snapping turtle eggs. So look at this uh, picture here. So we have, uh, we'll start here with the eggs. The eggs um, are uh, put in the ground by the female. They're laid by the female, the girl. And then from the egg, hopefully a little baby turtle hatches. And that turtle looks, remember like we talked about humans, it looks like a miniature version of the grown up. So this, this turtle looks like a regular turtle like we would see, just smaller. And that turtle's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. And when it's finally old enough, the girls will lay eggs and this, the life cycle will keep going. So it goes over and over and over again. An egg, a little turtle comes out, it grows. Then the female or the girl lays eggs again and it just keeps going in a circle. So on your worksheet, make sure that you mark next to the turtle, the snapping turtle right here, Make sure that you put a B, a letter B in the blank because this was station B. Okay, let's go on to our next one, 
Station C. Let's see if you can find that white flag. Okay, this is Station C. We have the flag here, and this one is pretty obvious. It matches the picture really well. So, here, right below our flag, is our clue. And if you look right there, this is our clue. So look at your worksheet and see if you can match this to one of the pictures. If you can, mark letter C beside that. So here is the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. This is an example of an adult that I actually found on the front of a car. It got hit by a vehicle and I thought, well, I'll keep that and use it as an example. So here in our life cycle, you can see that the monarch starts out with a little, little tiny egg. And the egg hatches into a caterpillar and the caterpillar eats and eats and eats and poops and poops and poops until it gets bigger. When it's finally done with its caterpillar phase or stage, it goes into this J shape here. It attaches to a stick or a branch or a leaf and then it goes into its chrysalis. Kind of like a cocoon, but a little bit different. So it goes into its chrysalis and then it stays in there for a while. After a few days, it comes out, the chrysalis starts getting clear and you can see the butterfly and out emerges the butterfly, the adult monarch butterfly. And if it's a female, it will lay eggs again. Now monarchs are awesome, I could talk about them forever, but that's kind of, short, uh, kind of a shortened version of the monarch's life cycle. So it starts out as an egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, comes out as a butterfly, and if it's a female, it will lay its eggs and start that cycle again. So make sure on your worksheet, you put a letter C next to the monarch butterfly. Okay, let's go find our next clue. Okay, we're here at station D with our white flag and here's our clue. What, this is part of a life cycle of the pictures on your worksheet, which one is this? Maybe you know what that is. Now if you look at your worksheet, which one does that go with? Hmm, you said this one right here, the oak tree. You are correct. This is an acorn, and an acorn is the seed from an oak tree. So oak trees put out lots and lots and lots of acorns and se the seeds in hopes that one of them will fall to the ground, land in a good spot, and be able to um, sprout and start growing another oak tree. So this is an acorn, and an acorn is the seed to an oak tree. Good job. Okay, we're here at our next station, Station E, and here is our clue. Hmm, a rattle. Look at that. This is a tricky one. Any guesses to which picture on the worksheet this belongs to? Look on your worksheet. There's lots of different options. And the correct answer is actually right here, the lily pad. So this is the seed pod or the seed head of the lily pad. So when the flower of the lily pad is done flowering, it kind of dries up and it turns into this. And actually all that little uh, rattling that you hear, those are all different seeds of the lily pad. So this is a lily pad uh, seed holder basically. So this is letter E and it should be marked next to the lily pad on your worksheet. Okay, we found our next flag. We're at 
Station F, and here is your clue. Hmm. This is another tricky one. This is part of the life cycle of one of the pictures on your worksheet. If you guessed praying mantis right here, you are correct. This is what the adult praying mantis looks like. It's a really cool big insect and it has these big kind of folded front arms. Uh, it's a really easy one to identify when you find it because it just looks so unique. But the life cycle of a praying mantis is really interesting as well. So the adult girl, the adult female, will make one of these. And when they first make this, it's actually really soft and spongy. And then over time, it dries. Inside here is what is so important. Inside this egg case is a whole bunch of eggs. So think of this as the home for the eggs. The eggs are put in here. This is kind of put around it to keep them safe. It dries. And then after a while, a bunch of tiny, little, little, little praying mantises will climb out of here. Now remember, the praying mantis is a little bit more like humans where when the eggs come out, when the eggs hatch and come out, they're miniature versions of the adult. So if this is what an adult praying mantis looks like, when they come out of the egg case right here, the um, that praying mantis is gonna look quite a bit like the adult, just a smaller version. So go ahead and find the praying mantis on your worksheet. Good job. Okay, we found our next flag. This is flag G. And here is our clue underneath flag G. So look at your worksheet. See if you can find the picture that would best go with letter G. If you picked this very last one, the pine trees down here, you are correct. You should make a G in that uh, box next to the pine trees. So this is a pine cone and the pine cone has little seeds inside uh, some of these uh, kind of openings here. So the pine tree will let out these, uh, let go of these pine cones. The pine cones will fall to the ground and hopefully those seeds get out, put in the ground and then will grow another pine tree. So this is an example of the life cycle of a pine tree because this is a pine cone, the seed of a pine tree. Okay, here's our final uh, white flag. We're at station H and here is your clue. Although it should be pretty obvious because there's only one blank left. But here I have two examples of the life cycle. So here we have the exoskeleton, the outside skeleton of this animal, the cicada. As you can see, it starts its life um, and then from the egg hatches this little teenager <clears throat> and this teenager grows and grows and grows until it finally climbs up a tree, splits out of its exoskeleton and out emerges the adult cicada. The adult can fly around with its wings and then the females, they would lay, the females or the girls, they would lay their eggs and the life cycle would continue again. So on your worksheet, you should find the cicada right here and mark letter H next to it. At this point, all of your worksheet should be complete. Well, I hope you had fun on your virtual field trip today. Don't forget next time you're out on a hike to keep your eyes peeled for different signs of life cycles. It could look like lots of different things like gulls that grow on plants or a seed from a buckeye tree 
or a walnut tree. Lots of different things out in nature that are signs of life cycles. So don't forget to look for them on your next hike in the woods.